Good evening, everyone. Trust you're doing well. Um, let's give a few more minutes for people to join in. We'll be starting soon. Thank you.
Hello everyone. Good evening. Good evening, Mom. Good yes. evening. Good evening, Mama. Happy Sunday, Ma. I wish you same yes. Yes, Ma. Uh, I think. I don't know what group is presenting today. I think it should be um, the final group. Emmanuel, is that your group? No, ma. Okay. So, okay. Sister Esther, are you there, ma? Oh, yes, I'm here. But um, we're waiting for okay. Samuel July. I mean, it's I'm one of the presentation. <laughs> okay, ma. Okay, ma. Thank you. All right, then. I just wanted to be sure. They're all on the same page.
Okay, good evening, everyone. Um, I will try to. I mean, I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me, please? You can hear me, please. Um, do a one, one, one in the chat box. Let me try to connect. Thank you very much. Um, so um, we're supposed to have Sambo here to handle tonight's session, but is not available. I mean, it's um, quite noisy environment, but I'll try my best to speak up and um, get us to um, go through um, chapter seven as um, as possibly, uh, as much as possible. So, um, okay, oh, one minute, please. Okay. Okay, so um, chapter seven talks about sharpen the saw. And um, so I'll be going through a quick summary of what, it's, um, what chapter seven is about um, before I get more distractions around me. So um, to be effective, we, must, um, we have to devote the time to renewing ourselves physically, spiritually, mentally, and socially. So. Um, but there's this when you begin to use a saw to cut at some wood, cut at something. After a while, no matter how sharp the saw is, it begins to um, get dull. And um, to be effective, it's just like when you're in the kitchen and you use your your knife to um, to cut different things in the kitchen. After a while, it begins to get dull. The best way to get the the, the to get the most out of that. Um, equipment you have to then take a break sharpen it um, bring it back alive and before you then continue with using it so that's what this chapter is talking about um, it's talking about you being on a roll you've been doing different things you've been eating your goals or not you've been trying different ways to move forward but right now it's saying it is time to sharpen your soul that means it's time to take a break and um reboot, um, renew yourself. And also that's what this chapter is talking about. Um, so to be effective, you have to devote, the, there, there must be a time to renew yourself um, mentally, physically, spiritually, socially. And continuous renewal allows to synergize, it increases our ability to synergize and, and to practice all the habits that we've seen from chapters, um, from the, all the previous um, six habits in the, all the chapters. So this, this um, chapter set, the habit seven, is supposed to help us marry everything we've learned um, all the while. So um, habit seven is focused on renewal. And it's, it's, as I said, taking time to sharpen the sword. It surrounds all of the other habits and make each one possible by preserving and enhancing your greatest asset, which is you. So it's not enough for you to learn. It's not enough for you to be a people person. It's not enough for you to be, to be improving in different areas. If you yourself are useless to yourself, then, <laughs> then I don't think there is any way that you will be useful to any other person. So that's why it talks about enhancing the greatest asset, the greatest asset you have as an individual is you. If you are not productive, if you are sick, if you have mental issues, if you are depressed, there's no talk, okay? there's no going forward in, in any other area of your life. So there are four dimensions of our nature and each one of them was exercised regularly and in balanced ways. So we'll look at the physical dimension. Now, physical dimension involves, it's not only limited to to exercises, but it involves exercising our bodies in a way that would enhance our capacity to work, adapt, and enjoy everything, enjoy life. So we must involve, we must get um, exercise, renew ourselves physically. Um, and, and to do that, it involves eating well. You need to eat well, eat, avoid junk food, avoid um, say no to high cholesterol-based diets. Uh, um, reduce your sugar intake, eat LD, go green, um, go for the stairs instead of the elevator. There are a thousand and one advice, pieces of advice out there on how to how to take care of your health. 
Um, you also need to get sufficient rest and relax. You're not a robot. No one is a robot. You can't keep walking and walking and think you won't break down one day. So I'll do you to renew yourself. You need to get rest and um, relax. Um, um, the exercise on a regular basis is important to build endurance, flexibility, and strength. So there are different types of workouts for different types of um, to, to for different goals. So to build endurance, it is you might be taking um, taking long duration of walks on the treadmill or around your neighborhood. It's different from trying to build strength by lifting dumbbells at all. You need to know what your body needs and try to prefer that solution um, or at least try to keep in tune with your body needs in terms of exercises. Now, um, if you're focusing, you're focusing on the physical dimension, helps develop a bit more uh, muscles of productivity. So if you are not physically fit, you can't, your mind can be awakened, um, awake enough to be proactive. So focusing on your body helps um, active, um, a bit one because we act based on the value of well-being instead of reacting to the forces that keep us from fitness. So we must, that's how our, our mindset should always be. The value of your well-being is what should, what should propel you to um, physical, um, physical wellness, to fit, being fit, taking care of your body. We also have the spiritual dimension. Um, the goal of renewing our spiritual self is to provide leadership for our lives, reinforce our commitment um, our commitment to our value system so as believers for example as christians you need to connect now this is we are going to the end of the year um it's expected that you have um, a time to um retreat you are you are you're, you're going to have some time alone we got to talk about your goals look at everything you've gone through in the year what you like to go through next year and um connect with god reconnect um depleted energy sources um, refuel. So spiritual is important that if, you're, if, the, if the things fall apart when the center cannot hold, I say that a lot. And the center for every human is God. If your connection to God is not intact, everything will collapse around you. So you have to renew yourself spiritually. Practice meditation of the scriptures. Um, communicate with nature. In communicating nature, you, 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 you get in touch with the awesome God that created all this wonderful, like you can see behind me, the trees and all. You get to connect with the awesome God who created all these things. So you need to connect with nature. That's another way to refresh yourself spiritually. And um, we also say, you're, you can also use um, the word of God. Remember the Bible, music, music is great. Listening to messages. These are different ways, praying. These are different ways to refuel spiritually um so uh, different kind of books also helps not just the bible of course the frame there are different books you can also read to help so when we focus on our spiritual dimensions it help, helps us to practice habit two as we consciously and as i said before um habit seven if if the greatest as assets you is not in place you can't practice habit one two three four five six you can't make any sense out of them so this um, working on your spiritual dimension helps you make use of habits, makes habits useful. Let me say that to you because you, you continuously revise and um, commit yourself to your values. When you spend time connecting to God, you, um, from time to time you get to reevaluate the things you've believed so far and where you are. So you can, that way you can begin with the end in mind. This is where God wants me to be. This is where I am now. How do I get to where God wants me to be? So let's move on to mental dimension. Um, so you renew your mental health is, is, is a case of uh, constantly expanding your mind. So you renew your mental health so that your mind remains as elastic and um, can, can increase in capacity. So there are people who you meet five years ago and um, they are on one particular class thinking level and you meet them tomorrow and they're still the same way. Um, it's a case of them not renewing their mind. It's a case of them not working on their mental capacity. So there's no way you can, you can relate with things that are, that, are, that are intelligent if you are not constantly renewing your mind. I keep saying renewing your mind. And really as believers, that's also something we should look into. The Bible says that 
we should constantly renew our mind through the word. So that brings us from spiritual down into mental capacity to renew your mind. But there are other ways you can do it. Reading good literature. Take a journey of, through your thoughts. Look at um, um, what, what we like as for them. Do an assessment of your thought patterns. That's one way to renew your mental um, your mental um, prowess. Do it. So you need to know where you are before you know where you're going. Even the Bible says that examine your own selves, except you be reprobates. So we are not reprobates. So we examine ourselves. So you also want to limit limit television watching to only those programs that enrich your life and mind. I know people who have soaked themselves so much in home video that they think as as basically as the movie but home, home video producers when they do something and you sit and you look at yourself and I'm like who do they think they are showing this thing do they think we are dumb to believe that this thing is actually happening but if you sit there and keep saying that and you don't stop watching such movies before you know even you will not be able to think I thought you will be able to think brightly I usually say it dulls your, your, your mental capacity so you need to avoid all those programs except they are adding particularly they're enriching your mental capacity. So avoid um, television watching that doesn't help you. Um, then focus on our, focusing on our mental dimension helps us practice a bit three, because we can then manage ourselves effectively to maximize the use of our time and um, resources. So you see how it's connecting again, right? Okay, so let's go on to, okay, well, before I proceed, if you are still with me, To say yes, please type yes in the chat box. I need to know if it work. So please type yes in the chat box. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so we proceed. Let's go on to social and emotional dimension. You remember we are talking about sharpening the saw. And what, what do we mean by sharpening the saw means that um, you so you being the greatest asset you have, you need to take time to rejuvenate. You need to take time to get refreshed. You need to take time to be renewed. And we are looking at the different aspects of our lives that need renewal. And one of them is um, this is another dimension, social, emotional dimension. So the goal of renewing ourselves socially is to develop meaningful relationships. And um, how, 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 Okay, why is it why is it important? Or you you ought to start from the fact that if you if for the last three years, um, as personal will always say you are a function of the the. Okay, it's a popular saying too. You are a function of the five closest people. Um, your your work is a function of the five closest to achieve your dreams. If we've still not been able to make progress towards the things you want to do then you want to begin to evaluate your relationships. You want to begin to look at the people you call your friends, the people who come around you. You want to begin to say, okay, what can I do? Who can I take out of my, um, my circle of influence? Who should I get close to? How can I move forward um, to, to my goal, closer to my goal? Who do I need to know? Who, who, what do I need to learn? So that, that's, that's um, social. So that's why you need to take a break to, to rejuvenate in that aspect. So you can do an assessment and this is the best time of the year. Many people are, are, are going to be on break. You have time to look at yourself, look at where you've been, where you, what happened in the year and what you want your 2022 to be like. So this is a perfect time to do all this. So we are looking at, so we say, okay, you can also renew yourself emotionally um, by trying to understand people better. So um, if so far you've not um, you've not been a people person, you've learned all that in all the different habits. In taking a break now, you say, okay, this is how I usually talk to people, relate with people, but I think I would like to do it differently. And then you want to check how you can make it happen. Um, you want to make meaningful contributions to to projects that improve the life of others. So, um, how how much of into yourself have you been? You want to right now look at, okay, how can I touch other people's lives? What are the things I can do to affect other people's lives? So 
you you begin to look outside of yourself and into other people and that's where you realize that um, even your life then becomes richer for it and um, you also need to maintain an abundance mentality and seek to help others find success that's just same thing um i i i've just tried to explain it's life is more than you life is more than what you can what you can get for yourself you need to look at how to help others how to make other people achieve their goals how to make them see the things that um it's their target so um your part of your mental renewal is stepping out of yourself your me myself and i cocoon stepping out of it and going out to say who can i touch whose life can i improve i have learned one to ten some other people have learned one to 100, but there are people who have learned one to two. I can teach them three to 10. And then you need to step out and look for people you can, you can help to become better people. So renewing our um, social and emotional dimensions help us practice um, habits four, five, six, because we recognize that win-win solutions exist. Um, we, can, we can understand others, and then we find mutually beneficial third alternative is true synergy so all the things you've learned you, you, this is where we're saying let's put them to practice in habit seven by first of all taking a break to do an evaluation of where you are where you want to be and then how you're making progress to that goal so if you find out that i am supposed to be headed to abuja but it looks like my vehicle is taking me to badagri then you want to up out of the vehicle turn the vehicle around you just want to take the right steps to move yourself back in the direction of your goals so as we focus on renewing ourselves along these four dimensions you must also seek to be positive for other people you must be a positive person people can associate with um you must be someone that people would want to hang around you don't want people coming around you and they are depressed and all oh, no you must be someone who has an air of positivity. People, affirmations are constantly around you. People want to come over and talk to you because they know that they commit to you, they get better. You must look to inspire others to a higher path by showing them that you believe in them. Remember, it's not just about you. You must look for people you can help. You must look for people you can encourage. People are there. People who are definitely not on the level you are at. So you must look at how to encourage them to bring them up. That way, you, your eyes, your eyes leave your your. Um, if I if it permits my use of words, your pathetic view, and goes on to the broader picture. And then, with time, you begin to enjoy your life um, once again. So we must begin to look, inspire others. Inspiring others is important. And um, showing them you believe in them, listening to them, being emphatic, encouraging them to be proactive. I'm sure if you've come, come with us through the um, seven habits, six habits so far, these are words that resonate with you because um, we've gone through them already. Now, the real beauty of the seven habits is that improvement in one's habit, in one habit increases the, the ability to improve the rest. So these seven habits are, uh, uh, codependent. So you don't say, I just want to understand others. I don't want to be empath empathetic. I don't want to, no, no, no. You have to, I don't want to take care of myself. I don't want to sharpen the saw. No, that's not how it works. One habit has to lead to working on the other habits. You can't survive on one. We just, I just showed you how habit seven contains all the other six habits. It, it, it brings them into play. Um, so there's no, there's no, all these habits, uh, they work together. Now, and, and this renewal, sharply your saw, is a process that empowers you to move along an upward spiral of growth and change of continuous improvement. If you don't take a break, if you don't do an evaluation of where you are and where you're supposed to be, you are not going to improve yourself. You are going to break down. So this is, that's why renewal is very, very important. Um, so let me just take a few lessons from, from uh, the book we just let me just take one lesson and um, um, okay so I said oh two let me take two I say um, one of the lessons I noted out is that when we make we make a list of activities that would help you renew yourself along each of the four dimensions so don't just say okay yay we finished the book you want to say okay how can I improve myself along spiritual dimensions 
how can I improve myself along mental dimension? You need to write it down. Um, that's how it's going to work. So you select one activity for each dimension and list it as a goal for the coming week. Um, I have all the rest for the coming year, but at least pick one and say, this is my goal for next week. At the end of the week, then you can evaluate your performance. What led you? What, what are the things that made you succeed? What are the things that caused failure? What are the things that made it difficult to accomplish your goals? So if you do this, you know that you, you've, um, you are being intentional about sharpening your saw. It is um, sharpening your saw is not a it's not it's something it's not a coincidence it's not um an incident <laughs> or it doesn't happen by accident also um it's just like telling a woman in kitchen that uh to have a sharp knife it happens magically no at the time you, you keep using your knife it dulls it gets dull and you need to sharpen it intentionally take it to the guys who sharpen or you have a knife sharpener at home it, it is an intentional process to get your, your knife sharp again. So this activity is writing out list. It's picking one. Just don't, don't, don't cluster your mind. Just pick one and say, okay, in this new week, this is what I'm going to achieve to improve myself mentally, spiritually, physically. Take more water instead of some drink. Avoid soda, right? <laughs> you need to take one decision um, for this new week and work towards it. And then that's being intentional about what um, you are trying to achieve. Then, then commit to writing down a specific sharp on the saw activity in all four dimension, dimensions every week and do them. And then evaluate your performance and results. So that could cover it. That's why I said one, one major lesson to take home for everyone. Um, so you need to be intentional about it. Write it down. Um, put it, put it, put your thoughts together. Look at the things that worked before. Look at the things that are not working now, and see how you can become a better person. It's not rocket science. It's not that. I promise it's not that difficult. And then, yes, don't look for big changes. It's little drops. You become a better person each day by doing a little extra thing, a little extra thing. By the time you look at yourself after one million extra things, you're really a better person. You don't become a better person just by one thing in itself. So it, this means that you need to continue continue the process. Don't, don't trust the process. Don't break the process and follow through. Eventually, you will like who you have turned out to be. You will see a better person than you were before. And things would, <laughs> things will really go as more and faster in the direction you planned it to go. So that will be all for a bit seven this night. Um, I'd like to know if, um, if anyone has comments, if there's anything anyone would like to say, oh, I can see your hand up. Um, Priscilla, Coach Priscilla is in the house. Yeah, have good been, evening, everyone. Yeah, thank you so much for the wonderful recap, Sister Esther. I'm sorry, I have a cold. I'm on bed rest, but I just have to be here today. So, um, um, I'll just want to emphasize on the spiritual renewal. I want to emphasize on it as the centerpiece um, that brings the physical, the social, and emotional, the mental, and all together. And um, quoting directly from the book, it was uh, Martin Luther. Yeah, the writer quoted Martin Luther saying, um, I have so much to do today that I'll need to spend another hour on my knees. And um, I think that is the place where we draw strength. Um, it is where, where Jesus is the balance, because looking at it, it looks so much. It looks a lot like, how do I balance all those things up? And um, uh, my physical life, I don't have time for exercise. I don't have time to plan what I eat. I just have to eat what is available, whatever I find, whatever is on the go, whatever wrong foods I find on my way. I need to eat it because that's what is available. I don't have time for 
um, study and, you know, I'm no longer in school. And so I'm, I'm free from reading. And then, you know, our lives begin to take a decline and on a diminishing uh, return level. And, um, but I, I pray today that um, God would um, give us the strength to give what it takes to be constantly renewed in the name of Jesus. Um, uh, that centerpiece of Jesus is very important. And it is in that place of devotion to God. It is in that place where we start our day in God, in Christ. And that is where we get the instructions that help us to um, be able to cope and to live a fulfilled life at the end of the day. And um, it is there that we find we find the instructions to live day by day and time after time. And I don't know if there's anyone here today that is um, struggling in their relationship with God. I would just try to emphasize that it has made a difference. It is my own testimony. And um, I and by the grace of God, the testimony of many more others that Jesus is the balance in our lives. That that not Jesus has says no. You are adding weight. You need to get to the gym. You need to. Uh, uh, it's the one that gives us the wisdom because to be able to have all those things, a, a bit of them, and uh, in the right proportion not being too over, not being uh, um, too backward in one aspect. It takes that effort from that center, that center piece to hold it all together. And I pray that the Lord will help us all to <clears throat> um, um, do this every day in Jesus' name. And um, I also try to emphasize on the point, on the place of time management, uh, because everybody has 24 hours, the rich, the poor, the old, and the young. And um, it is how we make use of it that matters and that is what um makes us who we really turn out to be in life and um wisdom is profitable to direct and it is as we have scheduled our days i uh, uh, spoke a bit about that writing it down and making plain and to know these are the priority blocks in our lives uh, pastor noel did a um a youth forum presentation sometimes ago where he said it's important to identify the major pieces of our lives and then put them in as the rock bottom blocks building blocks to form our foundation upon which every other thing can then stand but when we are putting time to watch tv as a major uh um this thing break in our lives you know at the expense of personal development at the expense of our fitness goals at the expense of our nutrition at the expense of um spending quality time with family then definitely there wouldn't be we wouldn't be able to make it up to that point of fulfillment and so it's time to go back to our timetables to go back to the drawing boards and restructure we strategize and uh, um, find a way as we go into the new year to um, um, give room for that centerpiece so that every other area of our lives will be balanced so that's what I have to say thank you everybody for the long haul for being here and we really appreciate you thank you so much Well, we can't hear you, Sister Esther. Let's see. Okay. Can you hear me, yeah. Stacey? Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So I said that no one can take action for you. So it's important that you take actions on everything that has been taught. Um, so it's of no use if after 10 weeks, you do not take any action. It's, it's, it's totally of no use. And as we go into 2022, you want to you want to be deliberate about the things you've learned in this community. Pastor Noel has made a lot of resources available to us in this 2021 alone. And that's that's a lot to chew on. So you want to look at how you can harness everything that's been learned to, um, to create a better 2020. To um, a better year ahead for you. We are trusting God.
God for even many more activities in the new year, um, some of which have been shared on the group. I'm talking about our Life Ready Individual, NWN Life Ready Individual, and the different the curriculum that we'll be sharing with everyone. It's going to be exciting, so get prepared for it. Create your goals. It's, if you've not made your goals for 2022, you're yeah, running out of time. Don't wait till New Year. The also bustle of New Year, we take time, we take activities, we bring activities in and you won't be able to do that. So please, um, if you've not made your goals, if you've not done your evaluation, remember the greatest asset you have is you. So you need to take care of yourself. You need to relax. You need to evaluate, reevaluate, assess, learn, relearn, whatever you need to do. You need to get it together. So I would um, officially be bringing the book reading challenge for the last book reading challenge for 2021 to a successful close. I want to thank everybody for sticking through. It's been tough. A lot of commitment. Some people who have been regular can't be around today because of um, specific engagements they have to attend to, and we all understand. So I want to say thank you for everyone once again. We'll drop the slides in the in the main group um, so that if you want to just do a recap, you can pick it up there. Um, thank you everyone for joining, <laughs> and. Um, I would say Happy New Year in advance, right? Happy New Year in advance. Merry Christmas, compliments of the season. We look forward to 2022. Our first book reading challenge is spiritual. We are developing our spiritual muscles in January. And I know that um, if, you, if, if you've gone through what we just shared this evening, you know how important that is. So please remember to register for the spiritual challenge. Let's boost some muscles for 2022. Um, the absence of, if there, is there, is, will anyone like to say anything? I think we should call it a day. Okay, so I see we are good to go. Thank you very much everyone for joining. Um, good evening once again to everyone and have a great day. Bye. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye, everyone. Everyone. Bye everyone. We should have said, Thanks. Brother Bye. Jenny, Thanks. good to have you. Bye. 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 Love to your family. Bye. Bye. <laughs> the kids. You Bye. Doing? Yes, so uh, Kingsley. Bye. Bye. Good night, yeah, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye. everyone. Stay Yeah. Bye, everyone.